Hello and welcome. My name is Lyle Morris and I am the president of ERS Roofing here in Raleigh, North Carolina. Today I want to talk to you about nail pops. What a nail pop is, what causes it, and educate you as a homeowner because this is definitely something that every roof experiences and it's just something you should be aware of. And, and I think most people probably don't really know much about nail pops. So, this is an example of a nail pop underneath the shingle. So what a nail pop actually is, is when, so if you imagine underneath these shingles, you have a layer of underlayment. Typically it, it should be synthetic, but there's also a tar paper felt that people use, but we just use a synthetic felt. So you have the, the shingles and then the synthetic felt, and then you have the wood decking underneath. And so the nails are installed through the shingles through, and then obviously through the underlayment into the decking. And so a big thing about the underlayment is it actually allows the shingles and the decking to expand and contract separately without destroying the shingles. With that being said, the decking will expand, contract, especially on days right now it's it's march and you know so we get sometimes at nights it's 30 40 degrees and then the day will be 60 70 degrees so you have a 30 or 40 degree swing and you you get a lot of expansion and contraction with that throughout the roofing system and so what will happen over time expand and contraction it happens over and over and over and just in various places nails will start to back out and you can see little little humps like this on the shingles it's very um it's very difficult to see if you're up slope so you have to be down slope and you can see like through here i think i have the ability to draw yeah so for instance you know these shingles right here are laying perfectly flat all the way across here you see it's flat 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 and then right here you get a big, relatively big hump. And so what happens, like I said, that's that's how you can spot a nail pop. So let me let me scroll through these pictures here and it'll show you what's underneath. So this is what's underneath that exact shingle. Here it is. And by the way, it was sealed down on these edges, but the nail had started pushing it up where it was, and it was still sealed down on the edges. So what happens over time? And you'll see a picture here in a minute, but that nail will actually cut a hole through the shingle, which is not good. So even with it just like this, there can be wind-driven rain get up under this shingle right here and into that nail hole. Um, and then definitely as that nail continues to back out and it rips a hole through the shingle, through expansion and contraction, it just rubs, 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 and it rubs a hole through that shingle. It'll definitely allow water in there let me go back and here's a photo of one that has popped through the shingle you can see a little bit of a of rust right there it's the rust colored from the nail which means that nail has been sitting there long enough to be exposed and exposed long enough to where it is rusting okay let me just start, and I'm going to kind of just go through these photos and show you what's going on here. So this is a little bit different than a nail pop. These, this is called a pipe boot or a pipe flasher. or Some people call it a pipe jack. I call it a pipe boot. And you can see the nails that are holding this pipe boot on. The sealant that was installed with these, when the roof was installed the first time, this particular roof is four years old. When it was installed, there was sealant over these nails. And now, four years later, the sealant is is gone, which can allow water in through this pipe boot, through that exposed nail. In this particular neighborhood, they had had some, some homeowners who actually had leaks because of this very thing. So we went up there and took care of a bunch of their exposed nails, something that we can do. So we, we sealed all these nails up, we fixed any pipe boots, and we did that for about nine customers in this particular neighborhood. So here's a photo of the nail that has popped through the shingle. 
was the nail pop and it popped through. It's very difficult to see. Here's another one right on the edge. The nail had just popped up. And again, we took, a, took care of all that. This is one that you can see. You can see the rust poking through here. That's actually sealant still around the nail. But it is beginning to rust right there, which means water and, and moisture has been getting to it. Really oxygen, because oxygen makes the um, iron rust. There's another uh, photo of a nail pop. Just a little bit of a dip there. I think that was actually after we had unsealed it. Here's one through the pipe jack, the pipe, pipe boot. It's rusted. It needs to be resealed. And believe it or not, I mean, that's a little bitty nail hole, you know? But we get some pretty good winds here and, and good rains, and that can let a lot of water in. You'd be surprised. So it's not one of those things, ah, I, eh, it's okay. It really can be a problem. And more likely what happens is when we'll go to, we'll go to replace a, a roof, and if the customer has not maintained the roof, then most of the time down slope and around these pipes, you're going to get some sort of wood rot and we're going to have to replace the decking. So you can prevent that as long as you have your roof inspected every two or three years. And when things like this happen, they, they can be touched up. There's more photos. I believe I already showed you that one. That's the nail pop underneath. Here's more exposed nails in the pipe boots. Here's another nail pop. You can see there, you see the shadow line, this, this leftmost shingle is sealed down there's no shadow line really and then you get here you can see it's the shadow line expands down to here which means that that shingles raised and we already showed those photos that's one that's popped through there's a picture of there was a nail pop here that hadn't popped through and then there was one here that actually had popped through so there's not really any rhyme or reason to where these nails are going to pop up it's just it's it's completely random and it's not anything the installers or any roofing company can prevent you know we can use ring shank nails and stuff that are supposed to keep it from happening but there's really not any way to actually prevent the nails from backing out so it's one of those things you know as a company um it's difficult. We can't really guarantee that that's not going to happen, but obviously we want to take care of the customer. So um, if we've installed a roof and there's a pr uh, nail pops within the first few years, we usually take care of it. That's afterwards, after we took care of the nail. So we had s popped this nail or popped this shingle up, removed the nail. We actually installed another nail to the side of it. And then we sealed in that hole where that nail was that was popped through and pressed everything down. And then the you can obviously see the sealant there. And I think that must be afterwards. And that's during it. Same, same photos. I believe we've looked at these already. So that's that. I wanted to take this time and show you what a nail pop is and hopefully just educate you on, on what a nail pop is, how it how it happens and what to look for so if you if you go out into your yard and you kind of look up and you can look up at your roof at an angle if you you know most shingles should be laying pretty flat these were three tab shingles you may have architectural shingles that won't look as flat but that doesn't necessarily mean there's nail pops so but if you do see a gap between where the shingle you know it's supposed to be laying flat but you see a gap it's a good chance you have a nail pop it's very easy to fix um, maybe I'll do a video one time, one day on how to actually fix it. If, it, if your roof is, is a uh, low enough pitch to where you could actually get up there and fix it yourself, save you a little bit of time and money. Um, I'll be glad to do that. So maybe that's, that's something I'll definitely do. I just need to get our, our mock-up built, but I wanted to get this out to you, explain what an L pop is hopefully educate you as a homeowner and if you are in the raleigh area you have any issues with your roof give us a call ers roofing our number is 919-626-9424 you can also reach us online at ersroofingnc.com and our email is office o-f-f-i-c-e at 
ersroofingnc.com. We look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.